Peru is a fishing country by tradition. Northern Peru has many low-income fishing communities that directly depend on marine resources. They need to fish what they can to sustain themselves and to sustain their families. And that can include endangered species like giant manta rays. Giant mantas, they're incredible. They can reach up to seven meters from wingtip to wingtip. They're just so large, but at the same time, so elegant. Giant mantas are considered vulnerable because their populations are decreasing worldwide. A small amount of fishermen were going out and targeting them. But also when fishermen set their nets, mantas can get tangled and then fishermen bring them back. Yo cuando la manta se me atrapa en la ancla, yo le digo a mi amigo, hay que soltarla, le digo porque es muy grande, era enorme. Pero él dijo, no, 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 no hay que soltarla, voy a meter el cuchillo, le decía, yo meter el cuchillo, no, decía, monedas son monedas y hay que llevarla. En December of last year, we achieved national protection of giant manta rays in Peru. But mantas are still being harvested. What we aim to do is make manta ray conservation an entrenched part of fishing communities. We go out to schools to raise appreciation about manta ray and marine conservation. Está bien, porque through this Rolex Award, we'll now be able to develop community-based ecotourism services run by fishermen. These previously called manta hunters will be manta ambassadors. The idea was that I would give this with force to leave the fish, to be able to work in the in tourism. To survive in what is in the sea, I said, we would eat, sleep and walk. It's about connecting research, ecotourism, and education that will not only benefit mantas, but will support the economic development of these impoverished communities. It's changing the way conservation works.